Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about Black Widow being free on Disney+, Titania being one of the villains in She-Hulk, and leaks for Loki Episode 2. Now let's get started. Black Widow will release in theaters on July 9th as well as on Premier Access on Disney Plus for $30. However, if you still don't feel comfortable going to theaters or you would rather watch it at home but don't want to spend the money, Black Widow will be free on Disney Plus 90 days after its initial release date or on October 7th, 2021. Next, according to the Illuminati sources, Jamila Jamil has been cast as the infamous She-Hulk villain Titania. Moving on, Samba TV reports that Loki's Wednesday premiere drew 890,000 US households which the third-party streaming stat work said is the largest U.S. premiere day audience for any of Marvel's Disney Plus shows. Loki's 890,000 household bested the first day of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier at 759,000 and WandaVision at 655,000. And lastly, a Belgian magazine posted a Loki review containing two spoilery teases for Episode 2. So if you don't want any spoilers for Loki Episode 2, then click off the video now. Anyways, the first leak says that the time travel madness will begin in the next episode. This next part was translated from the article, so it might be a bit off or confusing but it says the timeline game that explodes in the second episode, which would give even Christopher Nolan a headache, should be seen above all as a fantastic pretext for the writers to have Loki turn up at the most unexpected moments in history, like a time-traveling Waldo from the Where's Waldo books. Loki suddenly appears in the year 79, at the foot of an increasingly louder rumbling Vesuvius, warning the inhabitants of Pompeii for the impending doom in Latin, and with this characteristic pathos. Whatever craziness you can think of, it'll happen. And in the final lines of the review, they mention how Loki is gender fluid in the comics and in Norse mythology and that the end of episode 2 seems to imply that this will also happen in the MCU. But we already heard this from Tom Hiddleston and Michael Waldron, so it's not really surprising. But now we know that it'll be revealed to the audience in episode 2. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Where do you plan on watching Black Widow? In theaters or at home? Do you think Titania is a good starting villain for She-Hulk? And what do you think of these leaks for Loki? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.